Hello guys, Simon here. Today, I want to talk about the new Substance Painter Lightwing with Toolbag. This is the first iteration of the new Python-based plugins for Substance Painter, and since the Adopt team fully changed how exports and plugins work inside Painter, I had to do some major changes, so the way it works is a little different from the previous versions. Still, I tried to keep it simple, and as similar as possible to how it has worked so far. Also consider that there are still some limitations for Python plugins, the main one being that you cannot export geometry from Painter yet. Hopefully, this will be added soon enough by the Adopt team. So let's get started. From the Gumroad page, download the zip of the version 2.1.3 or greater and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Shell SP Link. Copy it and paste it in the Python plugins folder from Painter. Located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Painter, Python, Plugins. Please make sure you are using this path, otherwise, it won't work. Then open Painter. If you install the plugin correctly, you will either see the icon of the live link on the right side of the UI, or the window already docked somewhere in the UI. Now we need to verify the license and install the toolbar client. To verify the license, open the plugin and go to the Configuration tab, paste your license in the key field and click Verify. If successful, the email will be filled and a success message will appear in the log. Now, to install the client, we need to select the toolback version we are using, in my case 4. Once selected, the path field will automatically point to the correct directory. Then we click the Install button, and a success message will appear in the log to inform us that the client was installed correctly. We can verify it by clicking the Folder button, and as we can see, the Shell Spelling folder was installed. Also, if we open Toolback now, we should be able to see the plugin in the Plugins menu. Instead of checking every field of the plugin, I think it's better to see how it works in a usual workflow. Let's open Toolback and Painter. And in Toolback, let's open the plugin window. The first thing we notice is that as soon as I open the plugin, both apps are connected. And if I close it, they get disconnected. In Painter, we can see the ID of the Painter instance, the available apps, in this case only Toolbag is available, the renders for the app, and the presets for each render. And on Toolbag, we can see the instance ID, the available Painter instances, and as you can see, each other's IDs match. Once you select the render and the preset, all the available maps for that preset will appear in the channels tab. The maps that are shown in the main section are the basic maps needed for a PBR material, and the ones in the optional can be used depending on the material, for example, the emissive and opacity. Now let's check how to send materials from Painter to Toolbag. First, we need to open the plugins window on Toolbag, then on Painter we select the output path. If you haven't selected anything yet, the default export path from Algorithmic will be selected. Then the format and the bit depth, the base size of all the maps, the padding and the dilation if necessary. These settings will be the default settings to be used in all texture sets, but thanks to the new export system of Painter, we can now add some extra configurations. To add these extra configurations, we add rules. For example, this rule is of type format and is changing the image bit depth of the normal map from 8 to 16. We can add as many rules as we want with a plus button, and they can be applied at GDIMS level, at map level, or at texture set level. And the rules can change the image format, the size, and the padding. Once we have configured everything, we can just click the Save button to keep the configuration even if we close Painter. Finally, we select the texture sets we want to export. Now click Send. And as you can see, the material was created, and all is working as expected. Well, that is all for now. I'll do some extra videos explaining other plugins integrations and how the rules work, so don't forget to subscribe. Good luck!